What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today we're looking at a golden oldie. Uh, this is Golden Crone Hotel. A classical roguelike, a hardcore roguelike, where you can die very rapidly, very quickly. It's one of those randomized games that can be definitely pretty tough. However, this game just got a fat content dump. I don't think this game had been updated for like a really long time. I didn't check specific dates, but anyways, I got like this email about a week ago from the developer. I was like, hey, I'm about to do a fat content drop. And you cover this years and years and years ago. And so I was like, you know, I love myself a roguelike. I'm a big old sloppy sucker for a roguelike. The game has added a bunch more classes to it that you can play. So let's go ahead and start it on off. Right now, apparently, like, I must have been playing this game on Desura or something. Because I swear to God, I had more of this stuff unlocked. And so I was trying to think, like, did I have this on Desura back in the day? But anyways, I've done a couple test plays. We only have two classes unlocked right now. We have the Officer and we have the Vagabond. The Officer is kind of a melee fighter who's terrible with magic. And then we have the Vagabond, who gets hungry slower, comes with a blast spell. You get a Soul Elixir, which is pretty cool. A Soul Elixir will get rid of, actually, your vampirism. That's kind of like the, the gimmick. Every roguelike has a gimmick, and this game's gimmick is vampirism. I know that gimmick makes it sound like cheap. It makes it sound kind of like a wacky waving inflatable arm tube man type deal. But it's actually not. Uh, this game, like, one of its hooks is that your character can be affected with vampirism. And one of the big things you have to decide as you're playing through the game is do I want to become a vampire or not? So anyways, we'll start off with the officer. We'll give that a go. We'll see how this play goes. Uh, this game does have a lot of the creature comforts and everything else that make games a little bit easier. Uh, you use wasps to wander around. Oh no, dude. There's a vampire over there. There we go. So if there's a vampire, you can shoot out the windows if they have light behind them, and light will come through and it'll kill the vampire. One of the cool little things about this game is kind of the way that light works. Uh, we are kind of like, is this guy hostile? He's not hostile, he's neutral. Is this guy, he's gonna fight that, dude, fight this snake! Oh, dude, I got bit in the face by a snake, dude. Oh no, dude, there's a vampire. I'm gonna go, like, back this way and just hope that you burn up. The vampires in this game are, like, extra strength dumb. Uh, they are not like the vampires that you have from, like, Interview with a Vampire, where they've got all this intrigue. You know, these are not the... These are not the vampires from VTM that have, like, these continent-sprawling plots to overthrow governments and whatnot. Uh, these vampires walk freely into the light. I get the feeling that they're just, like, ferals or something. Uh, let's see here. A tour... What does that say? A page from a short history of the Third Sangian War has been added to your books and letters menu. Eh, joke's on you. I can't read. I'm an adventurer who can't read, and I'm role-playing. Uh, let's see here. We got some bullets on the ground right there. We do have a revolver that we can use on our enemies. If it comes down to it. Nothing up this way. Alright. Let's check. We got a potion right there, but we don't particularly know what it does. Got another potion right there that we don't know what it does. It could really be kind of anything. Uh, there's another, like, kind of mechanic in this game. Where... You can find these books that identify potions, but you can actually kind of control reality because it will actually allow you to decide what the potion is if you find one of those books. And so you see how there's like three options right there? It's one of its, one of its possibilities is one of those three. However, if you identify it, you can identify it as any one of those three that you want, which is kind of a cool mechanic uh, for supplying yourself with... Mm, this is not good. Yeah, I don't know if vampires are, are good at getting shot, but you know what? I'm going to give them a chance. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's scary looking, though. Shoot it. Hey, we killed him. Nice. We leveled up. Uh, let's go ahead, and we will go with a little bit more attack and defense. Why not? I've only got one bullet left, which is all kinds of a problem. I don't like that at all. I definitely wish that I had more bullets than just one. So if we turn into a vampire, one thing you kind of want to consider is if we turn into a vampire, we can drink those blood puddles to get HP back. Uh, we can't go into sunlight, otherwise we like spontaneously explode and die. And so that's not really a great thing. You don't want to step into the light. What are those? Ancient leg platings. Apparently they were of no use to me. Do I have my... Yeah, let me see my character sheet real fast. So we got a revolver. We've got plate plus two. Leggings plus two. Okay. Our resistances are looking okay. Uh, I'd like to find more bullets around. Oh, that's a big wolf, dude. I'm going to shoot him. Okay. We've handled the problem. More potions. What do we have going on here? Oh, a spell. Nice. We can remove one or more positive or negative status effect. I want that. Cleanse is really, really good. And we killed a bee. Uh, we can press the space bar to just heal up a little bit, but as we're healing... 
our, our vampire bar is filling up, so we're going to need to get a soul potion pretty soon. Luckily, that potion that I just randomly quaffed in order to see what it was was a soul potion, so it fixed our vampirism. Uh, we'll keep that kind of at bay for a little bit. It's good to know that we have a second one, too. I'm not going to go vampire this time around, I don't think. I think we'll probably stay human. I don't know what that thing is. Apparently, we have frozen. Oh, it was like a time freeze crystal? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, casting timer, warping, space-altering magic while unstable is dangerous. Good to know. Apparently, that organ was of no use to anybody, so I'll just break it. I didn't see any other stairs or anything around here. There's another spider right there. I'm going to kill his ass. Come here, spider. I need your spider nickels. Let me get him. What is this? That is... Oh, I feel stronger. Nice. Was that like a book of strength or something like that? It's not a status effect, so it appears as though we're good. Another gun over here. It's a revolver plus one. Okay. Not that helpful, but, you know, we auto-sold it for $15, so maybe if we find a vendor out here someday, we'll be all right. I will just continue going upwards, I guess. There's a snake with a knife. Run! What could be worse than a snake? A snake with a knife. Apparently, I have equipped the copper sword plus three. It's better than what I had. Very nice. Uh, you don't really have to do any of your inventory management in this game. Mmm... Not super in love with the amount of vampires that are after me right now. Like, I can live with it, but not happy about it. New spell. We can get plus one max mana. We can focus light into something else. Oh, I can basically use a crystal to reflect light at things. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Shoots a noxious ball of gas. Dude, I already know how to do that. That's not a magic spell. That's called, like, Taco Tuesday at my house. I'll take the extra mana. Why not? We'll build our mana up a little tiny bit. Keep lighting some torches around here just to kind of keep it illuminated. But as you can see, it's a very, very rapid-fire roguelike. It's a game that you're going to kind of play quickly. Who are you? He's neutral to me. Do you want to, like, talk? Huh? Huh? Burn me up. When I go, that's good enough for me. I pray I don't end up buried in that dank and dirty mausoleum. There's worse things than death to be found down there. Okay. Sounds like you've got some insider information about the Golden Crone Hotel that I'm not aware of. I'm just going to pretend like I didn't hear anything. You know, you guys want to jump in and help? Ooh, haste. Nice. Uh, we can stun an adjacent enemy. Repeated cast may be less effective. I'll go with haste. Haste is nice. Oh, nice. We equipped the copper plate legs, too. Very good. Let me light some of these torches real quick so that I have light in here. I don't know how illumination affects, like, your ability to be accurate. But I do feel like it does affect my ability to be at... What was I just hit by? Oh, a frog's tongue. Gotcha. Listen, you little bastard. He was running around all over the place. What is that statue right there? Anything good? Uh, that was the same thing we just looted. So we just sold it for 33 bucks. We have $134 right now is what it looks like. I don't know what $134 buys you in Magical Roguelike Universe, but maybe someday it'll buy something cool. I'm just going to slash him to death real fast. I actually have a pretty good run going right now. I'm not that upset about it. I like how it makes little organ sounds and whatnot when you destroy the organs. It's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, a few more potions, I guess. I should start drinking some of these to figure out what they do so I'm not doing it under duress. Contained inside of here are the following items. We got four bullets, a gluggy potion, a gold revolver, a milky potion, pungent potions. All right, I'll take all of it. Sounds good. Apparently, I'm famished, but like... I don't have any food. I guess I got to drink potions. Can any of these be food? What was that right there? It was an ale? Nice. So that's going to help me out with my hunger. Where's that ale at? There we go. Apparently, I'm stuffed off of beer right now. Oh, cool. We got a, a bronze shield plus four, too. That was way better than our plus two. I'll take it. Up we go. Who are you? Who are you and what do you want? You look scary. I don't, I don't want to hang out with you. You seem terrifying. Hey, we leveled up again. Good. Give me a little bit more oomph. He's kind of big and beef. What the hell is that thing, dude? Nope, don't like that. Can I just, like, rest for a minute? I'm going to have to use a soul potion in a second, but there we go. I should use some of my spells. I completely and totally forgot about my spells. Uh, what do you have to say? Anything good? The mercenaries fend, the marauders raid, the hunters seek, and the solomonari conjure. I have no idea what any of that means, dude. But you know what? Do you, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you and your ability to convey... Oh, no. 
That guy smacked me. Kind of got to run for it. That guy was tough. I don't know if he's like a boss or if I just wasn't hitting him very well. Apparently he's a brawler, I guess. Apparently we got Prince's notes that we can add on in here. The game does have like storyline and stuff going on in the background in case you were wondering. Glow potions, ale, a steel breastplate, plus six. Hell yeah, I'll take it. Who are you? If you've got gold, I've got equipment. Oh, nice. Very good. I'll probably go with... Yeah, give me a soul elixir, I guess. We got two of those now. We got 120 bucks left. Could buy bullets, but... I think I'll wait a minute. What's up with you? You a fresh recruit? I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. If you run into a hungry bloodsucker, though, all bets are off. Listen, man. Stop tonguing me, dude. Alright? I am a married man. You're not allowed to do that anymore. Before I was married, go for it, bro. Tongue away. But, like, now that I'm married, eh. I kind of got to avoid these situations. Alright? I want to see what happens when this guy burns up and... Does he burn up and die? Oh, he doesn't drop any loot or anything? I thought maybe he dropped some loot or something since he was like the vendor. Where does that go? To the grotto? Hmm. Oh, I just got smacked. Oh, no, dude. I didn't know there was going to be a giant death gator down in there. All right. Well, I mean, we got our Renown level up, so that's good. We've unlocked a few more disguises. Let's find some new characters in here. Give it a go. Eh, we got a Cultist over here. Reduced ability cooldowns. You got blood and demon blood, but you get more HP. Yeah, why not? Unlock the Cultist. I like it. And we'll unlock... I don't know. Who else we got around here? Let's just take it down the list. The Brute Master. What does the Berserker do? So he has less dex, less int, but he has a whole bunch of strength. Let's try the cultist out. Let's do something a little bit different. Is that a rat that's dual wielding like katanas? Say what you will about Fane, but he saved us from obscurity and from weakness and from lowness. Oh, apparently as a cultist, I'm already a vampire. Okay, so I start out as a vampire, which means now vampires are not hostile to me. We can talk and, like, we can hang out and we can be friends. You struggle to sound out the first words. You'll try later. Okay, apparently I'm also an illiterate vampire, so we don't know how to read. To figure that out at some point. Downshot is we're going to miss out on a lot of XP here because we're not killing anything in this room. I don't know, dude. That poison just, like, wrecked me. Oh, that's sun. I don't like sun. Sun is bad. Oh, dude, that's a big critter. Apparently, I picked up a golden revolver. Uh, apparently, vampires can't shoot guns. We can't even hold guns. I don't think I can take that guy. I think he's meaner. I, I think he's meaner than my face. Oh my god, dude! There's so many enemies around. There's so much poison. No. As I said, roguelike. Let's try that again. Let's run that back one more time. I gotta get used to the intricacies of being a vampire. You struggle to sound it out, but you save it till later. Apparently, I can read a book if I transform back into human form, I guess. I'm gonna keep all the lights out. Apparently, imps don't like me. That's okay, though. So, I guess we can't heal by resting. We can only heal by drinking blute. There we go. Some blute has been drunk. Do I even use equipment? I have a question. Yeah, it looks like I just kill with my bare hands, actually. So I guess we don't use, like, shields or anything. Alright. Good to know. I guess our HP just slowly ticks downwards. I was watching my HP meter. I guess it kind of slowly ticks downwards. 
Apparently, I picked up that revolver right there, so that's pretty cool. I can't, like, use it or anything, but I have it. Gotta drink some blood out here. There we go. Get that blood all nice and taken care of before it soaks on into the carpet. Becomes a problem. Listen, human. Listen, human. I don't have time for you. Oh, the human set me on fire. Vampires don't like the flame. The flame is all bad. Hey, we leveled up again. Uh, let's go with a little bit more strength. I don't feel like we hit very hard. Apparently, vampires can be poisoned. I guess I've got the copper sword plus three. Let me look. It says I can't wield it, but I guess it still goes inside of my inventory if it's an upgrade. I don't want to go that way. That seems to be an overabundance. Does water hurt me? Like, what is... Is that like holy water or something? I don't know what it's supposed to be. They said it could be dangerous. There's a nice little dram shop in town called the Frozen Rat. Next time we descend, drinks are on me. Not like we'll be paying those poor bastards anyways. Fair enough. Like, if we're just going to maraud, destroy, and kill, like, I do feel like that would help you cut down on your day-to-day -day life costs. It's a valid point. Listen here, snakes. Listen here, snakes. I don't have time for this nonsense. Oh, oh okay. All right. Apparently, he hit me with that otter pop magic right there. Hit me with some of that freezy nastiness. Uh, we do have a potion right there. I don't know what it does, but... Oh my goodness gracious. Apparently, I'm not a vampire anymore. Well, then it's a good thing we picked up all that equipment, isn't it? Because now we can use our gun. Uh, I can recover my HP. Yeah, do that, dude. And then we can identify a potion. Okay. Let's call this a curry noodle soup, I guess. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it just became an ale. So I've got demon blood. I get demonic abilities. Also heals vampires if they, even if they're at full health. Okay, good to know. What's up, bro? Fane makes alliances with vampires and humans, but it's not out of tolerance. He has respect. He has no respect for anybody, including his own kind. He's a sociopath. Fair enough. Any more bad guys up here? I could really use like some. Uh, I could really use some XP if there's any bad guys around here. I uh, can't help but notice I'm only level two, and we're on like the third floor. Hey, relax. Huh. Apparently, this chest is not immediately openable. Kind of interesting. I, w I was hoping I could get into it. We could definitely use some loot. There's some vampies over here, too. Let's take them out. Hey, level up again. Eh, maybe I'll go with a little bit more... I don't know. Let's go with a little bit of that right there. What is this? I guess I'll just check these out. So that was a glow potion. And that one right there is Strength Boost. Okay, so we're strong, and then we glow with a soft, magical light. Not the kind of light that you're like, ah, and you got to put on your sunshades. Like, I'm talking about the kind of light that's just that soft glow, like something you would put in your room to add some ambience, you know, just in case you're trying to get some lady loving or something. Just like, you know, a light, a light that goes well with musical accompaniment via, like, you know, Dude, I'm about to get smote. I've just got to keep running. Honestly, I can't. I don't think I can take that guy. Apparently, I'm hungry. Let's play a game called Drink the Beer. There's a book and a snake right there. Honestly, I can't really see what's happening much. I do have my gun. I say it might be safer to try to take this guy out via the power of casting gun. There we go. I cast 38 special repeatedly. We've got a new breastplate right there too, which is pretty rad. I love that healing spell. That healing spell is nice to have. Where else are we trying to go right now? Big old dirty frog inside of there. There we go. Give me a little bit of that. Uh, 
I mean, give me, give me a little bit of that. Yeah, give me a little bit of that strength right there, so I hit a little harder. Let me get a little bit of that. What are you? Oh my God. Okay, I've been blown up. I'm all out of bullets. Ain't got nothing left. Use some healing though. There's a key right there. I, I don't have any idea what the master key does. I assume it opens chests or something. Yeah, I would say just strike at the darkness if you could. Does this guy want to trade with me? He's got blood, blood, a copper sword plus three, a milky potion. Um. Yeah, I'll take the aromatic potion. Why not? I feel a sudden awareness. I don't know exactly what that means, but okay. I will keep that in my back pocket for later. There's that frog. I don't feel like chasing him down, though. Those frogs are hard to catch, man. It can be a little bit of a headache. Uh, I'm not going down into the grotto, because every time I go down into the grotto, I regret it. Don't let anyone know I said this, but even Fane has a soft spot. I heard he was engaged to a human before the war. Broke it off when he found out she was born vampire. I guess that could be a thing in a world where vampirism can be, like, engaged and disengaged at will. Guy's pretty tough, man. Not as tough as me, though. I have the power of infinite healing. Hmm... Seems okay back in here. Was there any light on the walls in here? I probably could have killed that vampire just with... Oh my god. Alright. Line up. One at a time. We leveled up, so that's good. Yeah, I don't love the fact that that guy closed with me. That's kind of not great, but... What do you do in this life when you don't get what you want? Definitely take all the gold pieces, dude. Add to my Skrilla stacks. We can identify a potion. All right, let's identify it. Hey, we got curry noodle soup, which is good because I'm starving. Curry noodle soup sounds hella good right about now, though. I'd be down for that. I don't know if that does any... Who turned out the lights, man? People always turn out the lights down here. These vampires, they just like to dither in darkness, bro. Time crystal right there. What does this do? Shock. Glow. Yeah, let's go Firestorm. I don't know if Fire... Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, all right. That seems like the kind of thing I'd really like to have. All right, let's take a look around here. Burn. I mean, it seems to be working pretty good to me. Dude, what's up with all the spiders in here, man? There's so many spiders. Spo oh no, dude, I got converted into a vampire. Hold on. Give me my magic spells back. There we go. Alright, let's just rest and recover a little bit. I need my mana back. And we got one more soul potion ready to rock. What does that do? You don't have any, but you're able to deduce the identity of Luna. Okay, I don't want to drink blood off the floor to heal. I'm, I'm past that now. I'm no longer a vampire. I'm just a super normal guy. In a super normal horned cultist hat, alright? And that's all you need to know. Dude, if that time crystal right there had been like five feet down to the south, it would have been a lot more useful. Who the hell are you? Yeah, time crystal, baby. Time crystal, baby. How you like that? Mm-hmm. Everybody think they're hard till I deploy that time crystal all upside their head. Can you die, please? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Kill that cauldron because obviously I'm not a big fan of alchemy. It upsets me. I'm going to keep pumping strength. That seems to be a strategy that's working pretty well for me right now. Mm. Yeah, just burn those dudes up. We don't really have an option right now. Heal myself. Wait a second. There we go. Get that mana and that HP back. Let time pass. It's 8.30 p.m. right now, so we're not going to have a lot of... Oh! I don't know what just happened. Oh, no.
this man is smashing me, dude. Oh my god, he gave me the smush, bro. Apparently, vampire nobles are the gnarliest things on earth. Oh my goodness gracious. I did not expect to get heel kicked into the ground that hard, dude. I got annihilated. I got obliterated. So yeah, as you can see, it's very much a classic roguelike. It's a simple roguelike, but at the same time, it still has enough random elements added on into the mix to make it work. So, if you're done with Tales of Magi, y'all, you don't really want to play Rogue's Tale anymore. If you're done with all the traditional offerings like NetHack and whatnot, definitely check out this game. It's pretty polished. It flows pretty well. There's a lot of different options with different classes that start out with different stuff. You unlock one to two of them every few runs, and so each one's going to kind of change around the way that you play the game. Like, this guy hits harder when he attacks from darkness, you know what I mean? Like, there's just, you know, there's other little options that slowly vary up the gameplay. I'm not going to say that it's, like, the most immersive or, like, the best roguelike ever made, but it is a solid entry into the genre, and I do frequently hear people reference it inside the roguelike community. So, anyways, check it on out. I'll have a link for you down below. It just got a giant content dump. And so it added a few more, I think it added like a few more guys along the bottom, the Bombardier, I think it added the Ice Mage, and I don't know about the Commander, but I think it was like down here in like the Revenant or something like that. It added a couple more classes. I know the Bombardier is one of the new classes, and the Ice Mage is one of the new classes, but uh, as far as everything else goes, they just added a bunch of classes to the game and a bunch of stuff to fiddle around with, so check it on out. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block was Golden Crone Hotel. I will see you all later. Thanks for being here. Bye, everybody.